girl, my brain grew overnight on the genius. I'm on the genius in the book of Guinness records for the smartest wig slayer on YouTube. Picture me folding, get never that boy. Can't leave the kill without the drugs and the gap. Boy. No. If I win this neck, baby, yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late night, you can't walk outside. Got the names on them. What's up, you guys? What's up, divas and divas? What's up, you guys? What's up? <sighs> Today has been a long day in a good way. Like I got three videos done so far. I got a wig video done. I got a real talk done and I got a Dollar Tree haul video for y'all done. Okay, girl, I am back on my game, like my number one A game. Maybe not number one, but I'm trying to get there. Okay. Focused on my work, myself, my family, my chores, my money, and things like that. So with that being said, we're going to jump into this video. I don't even remember who this wig is by. Listen, let me tell y'all. I do a lot in one day and seriously, first let's talk about this t-shirt. Like, isn't it so cool? Like my son, he bought this for me for Valentine's Day along with this other really cute one, which is the Golden Girls. Girl, I was looking all over for that Golden Girls shirt. I swear, I think my kids be in my head sometimes. Like they did not have my size in either one of these two shirts, this one and the Golden Girls one at Walmart. Yes, Wally Walls, okay? So I was really thrilled about that. So this one is from Wally World, Wally Walls. Okay. Okay, Super Mario, you know, not the newest Super Mario because the girl don't know anything about those configurations on those little remote paddles. Let's go back to um, the Nintendo days, Super Nintendo, Nintendo Classic. Like, I know about those and um, even Nintendo 64. But once we get past that, a girl is lost. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had the Wii and I remember playing that one time in a remote flinging across the room. I'm um, not really great with... Listen, these fingers is made for keyboarding, not for playing those games. Plus, I, my, my wrist got to hurt. But anyway, I love Super Mario Brothers. Just the first the first couple of series, we can't go back into now because I, I, I couldn't tell you. So the reason why I don't know which wig this is, is because she is pinned up on here. I styled my wigs on these canvas block mannequin heads. This one is from a company on Amazon, which is the L7. They also make the mannequin that I'm going to be showcasing in this video which is the one that I always, you know, put the wigs on when they first come out the box. So for those of you who've been like, who be saying, oh, can you show us how the wig looks out straight out the box before you put it on? Girl, I am showing you guys that. When I show you the fake mannequin, the mannequin, the fake me, the mannequin with the wig on and all the stuff it comes with, that's straight out the box. Like there's nothing done to it. Anyway, um, you can get, also get that same mannequin that I be, you know, styling the wigs on for the video. You can also get that from Amazon. I paid $55 for that one. It was not sent to me and I put makeup on it. So it doesn't look like that when it comes to you, but you can definitely make it look like, you know, your own. Um, I curled her a few days ago. I bleached it, I washed it, I pressed it, I styled it. And let's just hope that it works out great. So we're about to find, find out what wig this definitely is, okay? Oh yes, I know which one this is now. I didn't bleach this one. I'm a lie, I'm definitely a liar. Okay, for this, not for everything else. This is by RPG Hair, okay? RPG Hair. And this is actually a silk base closure type of 360 wig, okay? So it has a silk base filling right here. So I didn't have to do anything but just pluck a little bit. Didn't have to bleach the knots. Thank you for that. Um, it is a 360 or maybe they want to call it a full lace. I'm not really sure. I'm thinking this is a 360. But um, it does have this middle, this middle piece right here, which gives you a more natural looking scalp. Some of them I don't like and some of them I do. It depends on how quilted this part is because I have gotten some silk based closures, wigs, whatever, where it's kind of thick, padded, and it doesn't sit flush to your head. But this one looks like it's gonna work out. Um, the scalp looks really good. I didn't pluck anything into here, but I did pluck in the circumference, like in the front perimeter of it. And then I styled it. I didn't even wash the damn thing. I just styled it, okay? So it does come with an adjustable, um, removable elastic band. I like these along with the ones that's pre-sewn, not those ones with the big bra hooks that, you know, you could remove them from here. I hate those things. But yeah, so we just gonna jump. <laughs> Let me tell you, I did put some baby hairs in this already. I don't know why I did that, but hopefully it works out in my favor and I don't have to redo them. But we just want to jump into this, girl. And we're going to see how this wig come real quick. I'm going to just cut off some.
Alright guys, so I'm having a little bit of issues putting this unit on and I did have to take it off and remove the black adjustable straps that you can remove. So this is the part right here where I started snagging them out because they were just a little bit too tight and I did unloosen the wig and I had to unloosen it all the way to the end to where the adjustable straps were not even hooked to the unit. The unit does fit very small. It doesn't feel like a standard size medium cap. And um, I did have to kind of like pull the wig or rather push the wig back a little bit behind my own natural hairline just to allow the wig to sit properly and fit. So on the edges, as you see right here, you will see the wig is sitting in a, or resting onto my hairline. What I will be doing is pulling out some of my own natural hair, like on this side right here where I'm messing with the comb, just to make the wig look like it isn't a wig. So unfortunately, because of that, I'm not going to spray the entire perimeter because I really don't want a lot of this hairspray on my hairline, especially in the area where my hair is thinning. You know, normally when I do spray the hair, or the lace the the lace wig is well below my my natural hairline which keeps me in a safe zone but because the wig is small i'm just going to have to wear it behind my hairline and just you know pull out a little bit of my thin edges okay girl now i did do my own thing with the baby hairs prior to this portion or this part right here but because it doesn't fit properly, I'm just going to have to work around it, you know, show some of that black girl magic that I'm about to give y'all. Other than that, the hair is very nice. It's a nice density. It looks very natural. And the one thing that I'm super duper impressed with is the actual silk color. I have had so many experiences with silk based wigs to the point where I'd be just over them because the silk look like it's a grayish color or a brown color. It just never really works out. I've had a few that have worked out in my favor, but this one did a very, very good job with exact color. So I am I'm also glad that I didn't have to bleach any of the knots because they already did that for you, which is a plus and they did a good job at it. So I didn't have to go in after or behind them and spruce anything up. Girl, this came straight out the box, just like this, with no washing, no bleaching. I did do a little tweezing, and that's about it. So, you know, you know the rest, girl. I'm going to leave y'all with my commentary, and I'm going to see you guys on the other side. Did I leave anything out? Mm, I don't think so.
I worked this wig out to the best of my ability. I was not about to let no wig piss me off, irritate me, aggravate me, get me mad, and work me over time. Like, this ain't no nine to five right here, hunty. So RPG hair, RPG hair. I worked with them for some years, couple of years. And this wig right here, okay, this is the first complaint I think I've ever had with any one of their wigs, all right? And... It's a little bit small, it's a little bit tight, it's a little bit snug. Unless my brain then grew overnight and my head got bigger, girl, the wig is too small. For some reason, like honestly, I'm I'm feeling like they sent me a small cap by accident. Like I don't remember them asking me what size cap because they already know it's a medium. So this cap really does fit like a small. Like at first I thought it was the elastic headband. So I had to take that off, but then I thought it was the hooks and then I loosened them way, way, way apart. And the wig is like just fitting. Like it doesn't even just fit. It barely fits. Okay. Um, I got my hair out right here and I had to spray a little bit right here. Like I really didn't want to spray too much because my edges is already thin, girl. I ain't about to be losing all of them and going bald with no wig. It's pretty, but it's too pretty small. It's pretty too small. Pretty too small, a little pretty small. Um, it's a little pretty small there. It's a little pretty and small. It's a small pretty wig. Okay, um, girl, my brain grew overnight on the genius. I'm on the genius in the book of Guinness records for the smartest wig slayer on YouTube. I'm a genius. I'm a record spinner. I am a wig slayer, smartest wig slayer on YouTube. My head grew overnight and my wig's too small. How about that? What do you know? I'm a genius. I'm a wig slayer. I got the biggest brain on YouTube. Hello. Listen, I had to like finagle, finagle, finagle. All right. Um, the reason why I'm pinning it up like this is because I don't know. I'm just trying something out for this small wig. Oh, yes, because... Where it's small at right here, it makes me feel like I've got like this cone head, kind of like receding hairline, kind of like. So I pulled it back so it could look a little bit, I don't know, a little bit better. In my eyes and opinion, I'm really feeling like they sent me a size small because I've never had an, any any issue with an RPG hair wig ever, like especially the, the fit of it. Um, and I that's this is what I'm feeling like. It feels like a small wig because I've had a small wig before. For real. And trust me, it was the only one in stock. And I was like, just send it, okay? When I tell you it was small, it, it fit just like this. Like, don't lift up your sides, girl, because you, you they can't hide, all right? Don't lift up your sides because you can't hide, girl. So that's how I know this is a small wig. And I mean, like, listen, it's a mistake. You know, if you got a small head, then hit me up, okay? It's a nice density. It definitely is a good density. It's not too big, not too, excuse me. It's not too full and overbearing. RPG hair, they got some cute wigs, but it's a, it's a natural looking wig. It's realistic looking, you know, you can definitely finagle the sides if it's too small for you by just pulling it back a little bit. You don't want to put a lot of hairspray though. You don't want that. But for the most, I love RPG hair. I like them. They have, let me rephrase, I like RPG hair because I don't love everything. I just don't, I just don't love everything. No pun intended, no insult, but I don't love everything. And that's just me as a person. But I do like RPG hair a lot. Um, like I said, I work with them, I want to say like three, four years. Um, they're a very affordable website, um, RPG hair. You've heard of them before. Don't get it twisted, hunties. Um, yeah, I've, I've done quite a few videos for them. I would say at least like eight, nine. But it is flowy and this is some nice hair. Like, look at it. This is some nice hair. It's just the cap is a little bit off. One thing about this, the daggone silk works perfectly, matches perfectly. 
to my scalp. I've had some where it kind of gave me like this grayish look, some were a little bit too light. I'll leave all of the information down below for you guys. Let me know what you think. Did I work it out okay for it to not fit properly? Like, you know, you tell me. You tell me. I want to know your opinions. I'm very interested. Interested. I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, share it, do all of that fun stuff that you guys like to do. Real talk is back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'll see y'all on the next one.